as I see it, ex Stadia community folks are desperate to get peer acceptance for making the move away. So they keep poking a stick. They have to justify their move. You know what I mean? I don't want to attack anybody, but when I see, you know, when I see people go from Stadia to like GeForce now, or, you know, or they just start uh, prepping you for the conversation by saying, you know, I was, I was a founder or, you know, I got a lot of content out there on Stadia. They're trying to set it up so that whatever comes after that, whatever comes out of their mouth after that to you, it comes with experience. It's like somebody, they don't want to say, oh, Stadia sucks, even though I've never played it. They have to, they have to set you up. So it's like, yeah, you know, I, uh, you know, I used to love Stadia or Stadia was great or blah, 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 this and that. I got a lot of content now, uh, all this, but, and then that's how they, they start digging in, trying to justify why they, they fell out of love with it. It's okay. If people move on, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm kind of like, I'm somebody that goes real deep, real hard on something, uh, when I like it, photography, keto, uh, vlogging. Yeah, so I go real hard, like I, I enjoy something and I go deep and then I burn out. And when I burn out, then I move on. You know, it happens. It's okay if it happens. But for me to like put it down because I know it, because it no longer interests me and therefore I need to attack other people because they still find it interesting. That's where I, that's where it kind of irks me. You know what I mean? That's when it kind of bothers me. It's like, I understand you moved on. That's fine. It's no longer for you. But don't use that, don't use your experience to try to convince me that my experience shouldn't be as enjoyable uh, now. You know, personally, I don't care either way, but I can't stand um, bullies and what they do is bullying in the books. Yeah, unfortunately, it goes both ways. So unfortunately, I catch myself trying to convince somebody. Uh, I think it happened uh, recently in, in Cowboys show. <laughs> I think somebody rank Luna over Stadia and I got triggered. I was like, wait a second. Uh, how are you bashing on Stadia for these reasons? But for those exact same reasons, you given uh, Luna credit. And so unfortunately, just as human beings, we end up doing it the same thing be because, you know, we see something that, that maybe doesn't doesn't jive with us. We don't agree with. And for whatever reason, we need to try to convince that person that that's not the case where for them, it's that, that that's the case. And for us, it's not. It doesn't. Yeah, it's a weird thing that, that, that humans kind of fall into. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm still a pro subscriber and for the uh, foreseeable future, but I'm a little disappointed in Stadia. All these missed opportunities that could have short, uh, short Stadia, shot Stadia up. Yeah. And then, so, so we can say that from the outside. And then I, I don't disagree with people, with people when they say that. In fact, I have a bunch of videos that are, that are a bunch of clips from these same episodes where I kind of put up individually where I do criticize Stadia. The problem is that we're not in the room when the, these decisions are being made. So, for example, that first page where it was talking about the Corey and the, another game that were pitched to Google and Google rejected or either, you know, it never got completed. Okay, we weren't in the room when it was pitched. Maybe it wasn't pitched right. Maybe it was pitched uh, and Google just didn't see it. Uh, but for us to say... I don't know why Google didn't do that, but because of that, they're no longer go good with me. It's like, you're justified in thinking that way, but it doesn't affect the company at all. In fact, I caught myself saying, you know, I'm a, I'm a Google fan. And because when I said Google fan in my head, it's like, why would I, why would I be a fan of a corporation that has nothing to do with me? <laughs> but we get into our team mentalities and I think that's when we start going, <laughs> we start drifting. I'm ranting, but my point is that it's not okay for anybody, whether they're pro Stadia or anti Stadia, to try to convince somebody else that there's their view of that topic of Stadia is, is wrong. You know what I mean? Because that's, that's on them. That's not on you. I let some, uh, someone play on my Stadia account last night and they were good with it. But no doubt the scroll on the Chromecast uh, desperately needs an update. Oh, yeah, that's another one. 
they struggle with the long scroll yeah especially i think <laughs> last time i was trying to play a game and we always talk about how easy it is to uh you know you just one click away and launch the game but when i do it on the tv it's like oh my god i can't remember when's the last time i played that game and i just and my daughter was like I'll just play it already i'm like yeah i'm going i'm going it's like no oh, but it's just, it takes too long i'm like yeah i, I know i know this <laughs> but to be fair to be fair right you can go on your phone look for the game search it or, or scroll down now you have multiple right and then you can click on it and stream it uh not stream, yeah stream it not cast it to your tv so even though it is annoying to kind of scroll through if you just have the controller it's an additional step but they did have at least a way to remedy that they should just have a search bar on there but or just instead of scrolling left and right just scroll straight down like you do in the browser i don't know why they wouldn't do that uh there are tons of reasons why studios keep off of stadia and most of them are out of their con control all i uh, will say is that in i am told the big things are coming with the platform this year they have to be coming that's why it's like it, that's why <laughs> I feel that urge to correct people when they start digging on Stadia. It's like, it's, it's not even, it hasn't even been three years. Even the IRS in the US allows you five years to fail, five years to lose money before they actually even begin to question if what you're doing is, is a, a legitimate business or not. Because people see uh, Google as this huge conglomerate and big, huge tech company, and they forget that anything that they, they start fresh from scratch has to get built up. And so they're not getting the benefit of the doubt because they're like, whoa, they have billions of dollars. It's a trillion dollar company. Yeah, but the technology is not, it's not a trillion dollar company. The technology is new and it's growing. It's very strange, especially when Luna is, in my opinion, even less equipped to expand and to grow right now. But then they get the benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? And Amazon is a trillion dollar company. You know, that guy was the richest guy in the world for multiple years. Uh, but he still gets, I don't understand. It's just the strangest thing.